What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupintheSky.com and you are looking at a Spirit Rover shot from, uh, this is, this was uh, off of J.P. Skipper's research once again. The great J.P. Skipper, if you check uh, his website out at Mars Anomaly Research, he's, he was one of the first pioneers along with the guys over at uh, Above Top Secret. They do a lot of this stuff. There's a guy named Mike Singh over there who's really good and, uh, guy Neville Thompson who's online too there's a bunch of guys that are doing this stuff on Facebook and just off it they don't really do it on YouTube as much so uh, that's why I do these videos I grab every anomaly I possibly can and that's why I put the little picture up next to it I'm doing it so we can basically have all these things in one place along with all the links to the photos so anybody who wants to come see it can go check the anomaly out from my website or can check it from the list of my videos see which one they want to look at click it click on the video click on the link and then they can have the picture themselves now this one was pretty neat I must say this uh we think that Mars, well, pretty much I think that Mars had a major cataclysm that uh, really just strewn all sorts of trash uh, and uh, their civilization all over the planet. And uh, anywhere we go, we see signs of this. The Spirit Rover was one that, that really started coming up upon some anomalies, some pretty interesting anomalies as well before it died. <laughs> Which is, I say it like this, because we wonder if, if uh, you know, the rover is still being active, but who knows? You know, I, that's just a conspiracy. I don't want to get into that. What I do want to get into, check it this, we're checking out this spot right here, and uh, if you've been sitting here looking at this over here a little bit, and right here. But uh, what we're looking at here is this, where you've got almost like a head of something, and it's got something like sun rays around it. Now this could also, they're almost if you cut this part out, I don't think this is part of the thing. I think what happens is this piece is buried here, and it's uh, probably buried down to here. And uh, like this up here, most likely wasn't part of it. It's just part of something else. Um, but here you've got like a head, and, and let me see if I could do something. No, well first let me do this. Let me show you where you get this from, so you can pull it up along with me. It's it's in two shots. It's here. On this picture, you're gonna find it over here. All right. And then on this picture, you're gonna find it right here. And now I'm going to link, if you go down to the description, I'll link this page along with the links to these two to these two as well. So if you're lazy, you want to go to them, or just come click these. So, And I've got them up in Photoshop now. And uh, let's go ahead and work with the anomaly. Image crop. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to work with it here. And uh, let's see if we can't pull it out some. Let's see what we've got here. Um, I want to pull the gamma down see how bright this thing is it's almost like it's it's a form of metal or something it looks like or and it's just been waffled out by god knows what happened there when it happened next to it also this thing here seems to have a little bit of symmetry in it um let me make it a lot bigger on the screen as well oops there we go so the people who can't if you want to step back and look at it now, so what do you guys think? Comment below. This is uh, one of the ones that, like I said, this has been around for a long time. This is one of the well-known anomalies. I'm not sure what it's called. I, this one really doesn't have a name, but to me it looks like some sort of gear or possibly machinery, something along those lines. Uh, or possibly maybe like a little medallion with like a sun around it or something like you'd get in Mexico or you get down sea. Like uh, when you take a cruise, a lot of times you can see like this stuff. You buy stuff like this when you get off the cruise. And, you know, and it could just be a nice little thing you sit down when you got home and put on your desk and... Who knows? This could have been sitting on some Martian's garage somewhere, you know, as a part. Could have been sitting somewhere. <laughs> could have been sitting in somebody's home. We never know. Who knows what this stuff is? Uh, but I must say, this is one that's been around for a long time. It's one I've always sit here and said, hmm. You know, the the symmetry of this looks. I mean, it, this does look like something that would have fans. Over here is kind of bright. See how it kind of white whites it out over here. So I'm just assuming since this is here and these are here, that it's going to continue up like that. Um, just and let's go ahead and let's go back to this one and take a look here see if this one's any brighter and uh, see if we can see any more over on this one that's a little brighter look this is actually a little bit better look I think and this is the one they use mostly when they're doing the stuff like on JP Skipper's website um, and it just happens to be near this like this here has got some symmetry to it looks like maybe uh, some something that was here at one point um, over here this here to me look like the <laughs> part of a turtle that's been turned upside down the whole uh, the whole area is definitely just a bunch of rocks and just outcroppings. Up here is a very summary. Where is it at? Uh, there's a couple other interesting things up here on the both of these pictures. I'm wondering if it's it's more on the other picture too. Um, 
but see up here like this stuff here check this with the circles it almost looks like that's something here that's been blown across and it's it's the black and white sometimes it's so hard to to make out the colors behind it um or to even give it color you know so some sometimes it, look at this here check this out see how this stuff comes up and it kind of goes around it looks almost like machinery something that's just been wrecked there you know um kind of looks a little bit out of place from these other rocks Hmm. Anything else in here? This is kind of. Oh, well, look at this here. This is kind of interesting. This kind of looks like a little, little face to something. A little, uh, little idol there, that's connected to this. Hmm. Eye, eye, mouth. You guys see that? Let's see. Back out a little bit. It looks like it's just connected down to this rock, just kind of sitting there. And you can see it's up over top of it. Whatever it is, either sitting on top of that rock or it's connected to it. And he said, "If if what I think happened there, there's the force of what happened was it would have been huge. Um, this stuff here, look at this has a perfect 90 degree angle on. Now that's not a perfect 90, that's about 100 degrees. But um, look at it, it's got a perfect circle, right? It's, it's almost like it's shaved off the one side. It looks like you can flip it over and set it down on something. And uh, all this stuff just looks like at one time it could have been part of something." You know, and it's just been sitting out there getting all this dust sand. It's probably been blown around a bunch of times during these Martian sandstorms. As you can see, the sand's over everything. Um, it's all over the place. And see, and it's buried everything. And we go back down, and there's the anomaly once again. Just sitting there, and like I said, it looks like either a religious site or what do you guys think that looks like? It could be, this looks like either that or I could just picture this as like, see how there's like a little head there, and then the body, and then the sun around it? That's what I just picture, but who knows, you know, like I said, what do you guys think it is below? Comment. Much love, guys. I went six minutes with this. What's up in the sky 37? I got a whole bunch of good ones that are old ones I've got like this that uh, are like the old key ones. If you go out to the web, you can search. There's thousands of anomalies, but I'm going to bring you all the good ones that are out there that hit. And I love this one. It's one of the good ones, I think. Much love. Peace.